<laughs> huh. This will make a nice place to rest for tonight. Always love visiting these stables. Hiya. You must be new around here. I don't recognize you. Well, it's nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Beetle. You can call me... Actually, let's just stick to Beetle. <laughs> Have you ever been to the Dueling Peak stables before? No? Well, you're in for a real treat here. And it looks like you got here just in time to get out of that rain. Do you mind if I set my backpack down? <laughs> I've been traveling for quite a while. Thank you. Okay, now how did I get this off? There's a special way to do it. I think, it, I think it's this first. And then take this off. And then... Is this your bed? You don't mind if I set my stuff down on it, right? never gonna get out of that thing. <laughs> well, right, like I said, my name's Beetle. Uh, you can remember it by my beetle-shaped backpack. <laughs> yeah, I need to make a few adjustments to that. I travel everywhere and it just... You know, I think I could use like a little umbrella tent thing or an easier way to keep my table down. I don't know. I'll come up with something. Anyway, what can I do you for? Oh, you don't know. Oh, well, I, I can sell you things and I buy things and we can trade. That's kind of what I do around here. Normally in this area, I would have octo balloons and restless crickets and some arrows, except as you saw, I just got in. So right now I can interest you in some butterflies that I've gotten from other places. You don't need any butterflies? Well, I could show you the butterflies and maybe you'll change your mind. Okay, cool. Let me, let me get that. Okay, so I just need to get this one. It'll just be a second. There's a lot happening in this backpack. I'm full up on inventory. Okay, let me just get this guy. Alright, and then it's just, yep, yep. And, yep, okay, yep. See? Alright. What's that? Oh, my sign. You like my sign? Thanks. Painted it myself. You know, you gotta keep advertisements up around these parts. Mm -hmm. Yep. That way you know where I'm at everywhere I go. Yep. I want you to be able to recognize my face. Okay. So, is there anything in particular you're interested in? Right, you said you didn't want the butterflies. Well, we're gonna show you, and then maybe we can do a little trade. Actually, do you have anything you wanna trade me? I don't really buy those parts, but... Wait, what's that? Is, is that... Is that an energetic rhino beetle? Those are the hardest to get. How do you just have one? Would you trade me that beetle? Oh, come on! Oh. I thought I could trust you. I guess I'm just not a very good judge of character. Are you sure? No, I guess we really don't need to trade that badly. It's okay. I'll just put my stuff away and go to sleep. You don't need to see it. You will give me your beetle. Wow! Oh, it's been so long since I've seen one of those. Oh, it's beautiful. Um...
shelf is falling off of me. I don't want to drop the wares, you know. I'll give you this fairy tonic for it. No, no, no fairies were harmed in the making. My goodness, who do you think I am? No, you put the fairy and some monster parts in here. Why am I telling you my trade secrets? No fairies were harmed when you take it. The fairy gets to fly away. No fairies were harmed. See? No fairies. No fairies are in it. Oh, what does it do? Well, it helps your health. So, like, this is a weird way to measure it. But say you've been fighting with something for a really long time and, like, if you had a weird way to measure how long you've been fighting something, like, I don't know, like a, a health bar or something. Crazy, right? But if you had something like that and it was like halfway down, it, by drinking this, it would fill your health bar completely up. Right. I know it's a silly way of describing it, but... You'll take it? Oh, perfect. Okay, here you go. Oh, hello, precious. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. Thank you for trading with Beetle. I have to put this in safekeeping. Give me one moment, please. Okay. Yes, the trade stock store, whatever you want to call it, is back open for business, and I'm happy to show you these butterflies now. What? No, that wasn't blackmail. No. No. No, that was a completely normal trade transaction. I'm not what you're talking about. Anyway. Okay, so let's let's start over here. We have hopefully my shelf doesn't fall. I gotta get that fixed. The summer wing butterfly. You can use it in all kinds of stuff. But mostly spicy elixirs. Yeah. It provides you with cold resistance. The spicy elixir, not the butterfly. Don't eat don't eat the butterfly, that's weird. Don't do that. I really like bugs, as you can tell. Don't eat don't eat it. I also think I heard about this one guy that does dyes or something for like the clothing that you wear. Not that your clothing needs to be dyed by any means. You look like you have a very good aesthetic going. That's a very unique combination, actually, by the way. Where did you get that? Huh. I'll have to go check that place out. Anyway. One of the villages. You can have this weird guy dye your clothing. Personally, I think it's a waste of a really good summer wing butterfly, but... And then why to judge? You can take this to him and he'll combine it and dye your clothes. Or, like I said, you can make a spicy elixir with it. It's very pretty, isn't it? I know. She's beautiful. On to the next one. Oh, by the way, that one costs 10 rupees. Okay, okay, we'll move on. Not interested yet. I've got some things that I think can interest you. Next, we have the winter wing butterfly. With this one, you can make a chili elixir. Yeah. I forget how this one goes. I think it provides you with... Some of them provide resistances, some of them provide effects. And I can't really remember, one of them's like heat, one of them's cool. I think the winter wing butterfly gives you a cooling, a cooling effect, right? Yeah. Because you would think like with the winter wing, it would help you maybe like stay warm. No, it doesn't make sense. It's a cooling effect butterfly. You can make a chili elixir and then you take it when you want to go to the desert. And that way you don't just have to run around during the day. Or at night. I said that backwards. You don't just have to run around at night. You can run around during the day if you take a chili elixir. 
And then if you take it to that weird guy like I mentioned earlier, he can make a blue dye out of this, but again, you look very fashion forward right now. You should be very proud of that ensemble. ensemble. I need to talk to more people, don't I? <laughs> the winter wing butterfly will also cost you about 10 rupees. No? Your loss. Next up, on my little shelf here, is the Thunderwing Butterfly. Isn't she so beautiful? Just quite the specimen to behold. Hmm. Or beetle hold. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, the Thunderwing Butterfly can help you make an electro elixir. Don't ask me how, I don't fully understand it. But if you put it together with monster guts in a cooking pot, you get your electro elixir. And that will allow you to be more shock resistant. Which is a really big deal during thunderstorms like these. Oh, I wouldn't want to climb up there and get zapped. Not that I do much climbing, but you hero types, I see you climbing everywhere. It's like a climbing simulator up in here. <laughs> so beautiful. Hmm. Ooh, I think it makes yellow dye too if you're interested in that. But uh, She'll also run you 10 rupees this one. She's very important. What are the benefits to shock resistance? Well, you know if you're going up against some big enemies or something, I hear... Actually, have you heard about the Divine Beasts? There's one in the desert, I'm told, that shocks everyone. One of my butterflies just dropped, excuse me. Don't worry. shocks everyone that comes near it. So something like this, if you're a big strong hero and you think you can take it on, they could help out a lot. What? Well, you are going to try to go up against the Divine Beasts. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Beetle hasn't had a joke that well in a long time. You're serious. Oh. Good luck. Anyway, moving right along, this is the piece de resistance. This, I don't want everyone to know my wares. This is a scorch wing butterfly. Another one just dropped. Excuse me. I really gotta figure out the shelf situation. It's really unfortunate, but you, know, you work with what you got. <sighs> anyway, this is a scorch wing butterfly. You can make fireproof elixirs with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're harvested. guy who's got a guy, so I don't have to go to the volcanic regions, but oh buddy, if I did, I would want some of this. So if you're after the Divine Beasts, I hear there's one up there. I sure do. Now don't go claiming I told you something I didn't. This cannot save you from jumping into the lava. I had a guy try it one time, and tried suing me. It didn't go so great. But this only saves you from the fiery ground around it, okay? Not when it gets too hot and you're like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. And like your toes are burning. He saves you from that. Or she, honestly, I don't really know. Because this one is so special and so dear to my heart, they'll cost you 10 rupees. What do you mean they've all cost 10 rupees? I mean, yeah, they're all special to me. Alright, let me put them down. I think he also gets you some gray dye. Mm -hmm. 
Again, if you're into that, personally, I think it's a huge waste of a beautiful specimen, but... So what do you think? Do you want to buy a butterfly? Do I have anything else? Well, I mean... knocking things over. I've got some arrows that I still need to construct. Well, yeah, I construct my own arrows. The last guy completely bought me out, man. Why don't you take these feathers and you attach them like so and, you know, makes it fly super well and straight and stuff. Listen, I don't ask what you use the arrows for, I just make them. I can make one real fast for you, it costs you six rupees though, probably plus an extra charge for the rush order. You don't need an arrow tonight. Well, that makes sense on account of you're going to bed. Hmm. Suit yourself. really all I've got right now. I mean, like I said earlier, normally I'd be selling octo blooms and restless crickets in these parts, but I just got here. I haven't had any time to hunt them down yet. What? Oh, you want to sell me some stuff? Yeah, what do you got? Those guts right there. I think I could give you about 25 rupees for those. It's a steal. Okay. There's your rupees. Good doing business with ya. Oh, you want to get some butterflies now? Well, why did you just say you didn't have the rupees for them? Oh, we could've worked something out. Okay, which ones did you want? That one, and that one. Okay, yeah, those are really good choices. I think you're gonna be really happy with them. Oh. Oh, you've got more guts to give to me. Okay, yeah. I think I could give you about 20 for that one. That would give you enough to buy the rest of the butterflies. Perfect, okay. And your rupees. Awesome. So do you wanna buy the butterflies? Wow! You wanna buy all of them? Oh, this is a great day. Okay. I guess that means I can take myself off. <laughs> people are supposed to know it's me unless they can see my sign. Goodness gracious. It's not like I have any defining characteristics or anything crazy like that. I'm just your average guy. Anyway. Here. Here are your beautiful butterflies. Remember, your winter wing, your scorching wing, your summer wing, and your thunder wing. Don't get them mixed up. Don't make the wrong elixir at the wrong time. Use them appropriately, okay? Okay. There you go. And I'll just take the rupees and that hand, yeah. Nice doing business with you. Great evening it's been. Yeah. It's probably time.
time to get some rest now. I don't think that storm's gonna let up anytime soon. You look like you could use some rest, stranger. Again, a weird comparison, but like, if there was a thing that told me how much health you had left, you look like you've only got a little bit left on there. You could use some shut-eye. Yeah. What's that? No! No monsters can get you here. The Dueling Peak stable is completely safe. Yeah. I read something somewhere one time where the monsters don't like the horse deity that this is an honor to, so, like, they don't come anywhere near it. Oh, yeah. You haven't heard of the horse deity? I don't remember her name, but when you find her, whoo, buddy. You're gonna want to make sure that you didn't take any weird elixirs before that. <laughs> So anyway, um, I think I'm gonna get some shut-eye here. What? Do I have anything else? No, not, I mean, not really. I, like I said, I gotta do some hunting around for some restless crickets. If you talk to me tomorrow, I might have some of those. Do I have a what? Why would I have that? What even is that? A, a mask? They can make you blend in with the monsters? Why would anyone want that? Ew, no. You know what? around those parts. Ask for a guy named Kilden. He might be able to get you what you need. But you didn't hear that from me, okay? Bad for business. Yeah, I hear he's opening up some kind of crazy shop called Fang and Bone. Who needs a shop Fang and Bone? Thing about trying to develop his own currency? What the heck is it with the guy, you know? Yeah, I don't know, it seems cool, cool, I'm crazy and mad. <laughs> but anyway, you didn't hear that from me, okay? But, um, go to the ancient tech lab. Ask for Gildan. He'll be able to help you out. Okay, well. No, stranger, I can't help you at all. I've never heard of anything like that. No. Well, I best be getting to bed since I've never heard of anything like that at all. Right. I don't think they've heard us. I'm an excellent spy. <laughs> Alright, well. You get some good shut-eye, okay, stranger? And, uh, good luck on all your travels.